Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we are going to discuss the Paranoia slider widget brought to you by the Prime slider add-on. Paranoia, in terms of word meaning, is an uneasy feeling that will throw you off. But the Paranoia slider is the opposite in meaning. It will attract your visitors so much that they will feel uneasy if they try to leave the page. The slider does not have too many things going on in the front end, but the presentation style is what makes it stunning. There is a subtitle on the top, followed by the huge title text, images that look like the tip of a hot dog, an animated read more button, thumb style next and previous buttons, and cool transition effects on the image and the text. There is another demonstration right below to show you what else could be done with the Parana widget. For this one, we just move the color background, top side, and separated the rest with a black shade. That's about them both. Now let's explore the insides of the widget. First, drag and drop the widget inside the editor page. What you see is the default interface of the widget. From the layout option, let's customize the height of the slider with that scroll bar. Then the switches below are for showing or hiding certain elements from the slider such as the title, subtitle, text and read more button. Next, the slider section is where the slider items are listed. Currently, there are three items. You may add more by clicking the add item button at the bottom. Then click on the first item box. Here you can customize each item through the options found inside. First, let's change the subtitle text. Then the title. Next, choose a suitable image for the item. In the optional subsection, you will find a title link and a description field. Following these little changes, you can complete customizing the rest two items. By default, you will see the transition effect on the images when sliding to the next item. Right below the item list, there are two more options included. The image size option lets you change the dimension of all images at the same time, whereas the background image settings let you reposition the images. Now click on the section settings icon and choose a classy background color under the slider. Great, now back into the slider setting. Let's jump into the style tab. Here we will customize the appearance of the content. First go into the title section, let's make the title white in color. Then customize the font from the typography option. You can choose a different font family, adjust the font size and then change the letter weight. Next from the subtitle section, first change the text color to white and then customize the typography option. The first few options can be the same as the title. Then change the letter spacing scroll bar to spread the text more. After that, go to the read more button section. First, let's change the button text color and then the background color. We can quickly switch to the hover section to add title and background colors to the hover effect. The button is animated and with a hover effect, it performs better. Check that out to confirm. You might want to add lots of values in the border radius field to make the button corners round shapes. Also, add padding values and then manually calibrate those values. You might want to adjust the button height scroll bar. Then customize the typography option to change the font setup for the button text. Lastly, go inside the navigation section and then customize the text color. Finish it with typography customizations. With that, the slider has gained a new height and is ready to entertain your visitors. That's all for this video, please like, share and subscribe to this channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. Until then, stay safe and see you next time.